Welcome back to a Scope episode that's all about things that climb. We go mission in this climbing episode of Scope. Climbing plants. You know, the ones that creep and climb their way up the lattice work and walls. <laughs> so here it is, climbing plants. No, no, it's not. Oh, it's climbing plants. Let's see what I mean. Tails, claws and extra long arms. They can help make tree climbing a breeze. And so can harnesses, ropes and ascenders if you know how to use them. G'day, I'm Trevor. And hi, I'm John. We're arborists and we're going to show you today how and why we climb trees. An arborist's work involves assessing and managing the health and safety of individual trees. We remove dead trees, help control tree diseases and insect pests, and we prune trees that threaten to drop branches, interfere with electricity or phone lines, or outgrow their position in the garden. Now usually we do this kind of work in schools, parks and backyards. But today it's about making the trees in this area safe for a new rope adventure course. And we'll start by pruning this Igerian oak. It's more than 150 years old and it's a pretty large example of its species. But it has some dead lateral branches that are at risk of failing. So we'll prune them off before they do. Of course to cut these branches I need to get up amongst them. And that's where this giant slingshot comes in. I won't be getting in it. We'll use it to hurl this throw bag over a fork that's high up in the tree. Then our climbing rope is pulled up through the fork and back down the other side. And now that Trevor's hooked up to the climbing rope, he's going to start making his way into the tree while I stay here on the ground and make sure he's safe. In the two to one rope system we use, the branch that the rope is looped over acts like a pulley. This means Trevor can haul himself upwards using half the effort he'd need if the rope was simply tied on. And a friction hitch stops him from sliding downwards by biting onto the rope as it's fed through. Now that I've got to my high point, I'm going to head down to that branch I need to prune. Then John attaches the chainsaw and I haul it up. First I cut each branch not too far from its end. This ensures that when I cut it a bit closer to the trunk it won't snap off too soon and tear the bark. Since every cut a tree receives is a wound and a potential site of infection, we're very careful to minimise the damage we do. That's one branch pruned, I better get on with the rest. Alright, now that those dead and dangerous branches are removed, it's time for me to head down. I lower myself by adjusting the friction hitch, which lets the rope slip through a little at a time. While I've been up here, John's prepared the branches that I've cut for mulching. So as you can see, we arborists aren't naturally built for climbing, but we still know a fair amount about how to do it well. Can fish climb? Well, don't go away, because we're about to find out. Can you climb? 